You might think it takes brains to build a civilization. Well, you'd be wrong. We pretty much need to tell these guys how to do everything. First, we're just going to convert them into gatherers so they can pick up a few resources. It's like we're getting grass and sticks. And apparently just from collecting those few things, we got a new recipe. I mean, everybody knows if you build a house, your population will increase. That's just how it works. Oh, we're unlocking so many new recipes. I don't think any of these gatherers are even going to build this house for me. So I guess I'll deliver all the resources myself. And before you take that back, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And we just need one more stick. So look, why don't I harvest that on my own as well? There we go. Actually, just from building that, we've got a skill point available. So we can choose between an ability that lets us lift up heavy rocks and enemies. We can heal characters, instantly grow or regrow plants, revive characters, that might come in handy, or call down a lightning bolt and do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. I actually think we want to regrow our plants. Like what happens if we just use it over here? Oh yeah, we get the grass back instantly and also our berry bush. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, you drop a seed? Is that a seed? It looks like a seed. So we're on day zero at the moment and it looks like time is ticking down to night time. So I think the next thing we should probably build is a little protective fence to keep us safe. Have I even got the things to do this? What does it need? One flint. What are the villagers doing? Oh, they're like, they're praying or something. Apparently they don't work at night either. And three more sticks. And there we go, we've got a fence. Oh, and there's another bird. I'll take that seed as well. We've got to deliver all of these resources to the center of our town and then they go into our inventory so we can just build things on our own while these guys are working out how to live. Victoria and Noah. Bunch of dum-dums. Oh, okay. Our gate's being attacked. Victoria, you come and fight. I'm going to put you in a death pit with this goblin. Okay, looks to me like the goblin is definitely winning. Noah, why don't you come and help out? Pretty sure this goblin's going to defeat us. Our whole civilization's going to be ruined on day zero. Oh, actually, never mind. The tables have turned. That goblin is no match for two dum-dums. Oh, there's a deer here as well. Oh, I found some water, apparently. And it looks like overnight we collect a little bit of this resource. That just leveled us up to level two now. And that means we've got another resource. So this time, I think we're going to need this lightning bolt, to be honest. Our villagers are not doing enough damage. We can use this nature ability again, though, and regrow all of our food. We're going to have to try and train these dum-dums to do some new things. So maybe something like a lumber mill would be a great idea. Then we might be able to get some wood at least. And that needs two flint and four stones. Now drop what you're doing, Victoria. Wait, I said drop it. Now you're going to go in this lumber mill and you're going to start chopping some trees. At least she's giving it everything she's got. Ah, Victoria chopped down our first wood. Look at this thing. So I'll just plop that on our town hall and we've unlocked some more recipes. So it looks like now because we found a pine cone, I can actually plant a tree, put a pine cone on top. And now we've got a little baby sapling. There's also a mine here as well, which I think will be important. So we can mine some of these stones, but it's nearly nighttime again. And we're going to get attacked by one goblin. It looks like Victoria, now that you've got an ax, maybe you'll come in useful. All right, why don't you try and get this guy? Oh, I forgot. We've got our lightning ability too. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what we needed. We toasted him. I think for us to get more villagers, we need to spend food to attract wildlings. So I need five extra food. Should be able to collect a little bit myself. Here's one berry and here's two berries. Oh, and a bird again. Drop some seeds. And here's three berries. And then we use some nature and four berries. Okay, let's attract a wildling. And we can also collect our experience as well, which has given us a third skill point. This one I'm really curious about. Lift up heavy rocks and enemies. So first of all, can I lift this rock? Oh, I can. Wait, what can I do with this rock now? What happens if we drop it? Oh, nothing really. It just stacks up on the other one. Here's a guy out of the wilderness. Have you come to join us? Why do you also have no clothes on? Where are these people coming from? All right, well, if you want a job, first of all, welcome Catherine, but you are going to go and mine some stone. There's no relaxing here. You've got to work for your keep. If only you could think for yourself, I wouldn't have to do all of this demanding. I think because we found these logs, we've unlocked some new recipes, but this one's going to be really important. An archery range. So I guess we can squeeze that thing in here. And I just realized I haven't got a wall on this side either. Actually, this is really useful. If I can just move the stones away, then we've got space to put that in. All right, that just needs three sticks and one flint. And now we've got a fully walled in settlement. Actually, it really doesn't look like that much at the moment. Okay, now we're getting attacked on both sides. That is terrifying. We haven't built our archery range yet. We've got the hay, but not the stones or the wood. 
Here's one stone over here that we left. Yep, but no wood. Wow, we actually go pretty far over here. Look at all these deers as well. Oh, the goblin came out of nowhere. All right, Victoria, you've got the axe. No, Victoria, you fight. Victoria, you fight. Victoria, fight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she does not want to fight. What about this side? There you go. Now you have to fight. He's attacking you. This one, I'm going to zap with lightning. Oh, and I can pick them up as well, right? Can I drop you? Oh, yeah, it works. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. All right, Victoria's into it now. Her little tiny pea brain means that she pretty much needs to die before she wants to do anything. But she's really sorting him out. Maybe we don't even need archers. Maybe we can just get an army of lumberjacks instead. Rip, goblin. All right, we got some more experience that night as well. Oh, wow, that got us up to level four. That took no time at all. For our next point, we're probably going to need this. Revive characters. Who knows when that's going to come in handy. But actually, judging by Victoria's health, we probably should have got heal. <laughs> All right, we need to repair our walls as well. So just one stick will do that. And the same on this side. And now we've got enough wood for the archery range and the last stone. All we need now is more villagers. And uh, what do I need? We need six food. I have zero food. Okay, that's a problem. Noah, you drop what you're doing and you become an archer. Because I think they can go and hunt these deers. Actually, let me help you here. Oh, we're going to plop you out here. Oh, and there's some berries. Okay, Noah, are you seriously running away from those deers that you are hunting to go and eat some berries? Okay, now he doesn't want them. I'm so confused. How are you missing these shots? Maybe he's so hungry that he can't actually aim. Yeah, he really wants those berries. He's running all the way back. All right, here we go, Noah. You redeem yourself, please. Miss. Oh, he missed again. That was a good shot. And a miss. He doesn't do well at close range, turns out. Oh, there we go. That's close enough for you. He's just got a blind spot from about one meter in front of him to about four meters away. Can't hit anything in that range. How hard is it to kill a deer? Honestly. Well, we are very short on food. So I might just collect these berries for everybody since no one else seems to be able to do it. And actually, that's probably because I got rid of all of our scavengers. That's what our issue is. So we're getting attacked from one goblin on this side and it looks like two goblins on the other side. I'm hoping Noah can sort this guy out. And while he does, let's fry up these two. Oh no, I just broke my barrier as well. Hold on, what happens if I drop you? Oh yeah. Okay, dropping them is the way to go. Noah's actually got that sorted. I'm so surprised. Why don't you get this last one? Ah, there we go. Now you're showing that you're a little bit useful. Even more useful if you could get some food. Apparently, he doesn't like hunting at nighttime. Oh, he did it. He finally did it. Look at... Oh, that's a poop. We don't want that poop. So berries is worth one food, but a giant leg of a deer is worth two food. Eh, adds up. Actually, that should be enough that we can attract another wildling. Can finally get a fourth member of this tribe. Actually, let's try and find this little guy. You out here in the woods? Oh, we found him. Without clothes on, of course. How do these little guys survive in the wilderness all on their own? No brains and no clothes. All right, let me give you a little helping hand here, buddy. Welcome to the tribe. Harrison. I'm just going to leave Harrison as a scavenger for now and he can collect all of these things that are on the ground. And we're going to finally build a sawmill. That way we can turn all of these logs into something useful. Okay, let's see. I've got two logs now. If we pop them on here. Oh yeah, we get one plank. So two logs for one plank. And that's just unlocked another new recipe. Because it's nighttime now, I might convert Harrison over into another archer. And if these two put their one brain cell together, maybe they can take out the two goblins over here. And I'll sort out the two on the other side. A little bit of lightning and one of them I can drop at least. Although it only takes 10 seconds for this to cool down. So right about now, we can drop the other one. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. They took him out. It's a miracle. Although our wall is nearly completely destroyed. Now we're actually going to need another house. We've kind of run out of room inside our borders, so maybe I just build one outside? And I've just realized we forgot to build one of these little guys, a carpentry table. We'll just change Harrison over onto this for the time being. I think with a carpentry table, they'll go around and collect all the resources to build some new buildings. So hopefully that means that I won't have to do all of the building. Whoa, look at all these resources out here. Someone has been hard at work. There is a solution for that though. We did unlock these storage towers. So if we build one of these all the way out here, that's kind of connected to our main storage. So it means that we could drop off all of these items into there instead of having to run all the way back to our main area. So we just drop two wood there, get our second plank, and then we should be fine to build. And look, now I can just drop everything off here. So good. And we just keep unlocking recipes, it's crazy. I don't know if goblins will attack the towers outside of the wall, but we'll find out. 
All right, next on the list is going to be a stonemason. Maybe we could just put this as close as possible to this little area. So with a stonemason, workers should go out and collect stone and turn them into bricks for us. And we're going to need those bricks to build some more complicated buildings. All right, tonight we're going to get two goblins from this side and three from the other side. So I'll leave these two to do their archery on that side. And I'll try and take out the three over here. Oh, no, I missed one with a zap. Okay, let's call Victoria over here. She can save the day. And I'll just drop another one. There you go, Victoria. Now you can sort him out. How'd these other two go? They did it again. Two nights in a row. Maybe they're becoming more reliable. I still don't trust them, though. I wonder if we can just make Harrison and Noah into some villages and they can help us get a little bit more experience before the next day. Oh, we'll get this bird to drop a seed down. Thank you very much. Oh, that worked perfectly. We just got enough experience to get to level five, which means we can get the final ability, which is heal characters. Actually, I just realized we're not getting any more villages because we need another house. So we'll just plop one in here. It hasn't increased our population for some reason. Ah, it looks like we need to increase at our altar. So let's upgrade here. Takes four stones, four hay, which we don't have, and four logs. What is going on over here, by the way, Victoria? You're just surrounded by chaos. Okay, hey, this grass is turning out to be really hard to find. We could build some trees, but we can also build these little grass patches. So the more of these I put down with seeds and water to get them started, the faster we can collect all of those building materials. And the same goes for these little berry bushes, I guess, as well. They just need a little bit of poop. The next attack's incoming. We've got three goblins on this side and three on this side as well. Victoria, you come and save the day again over here. How are these archers going? The wall broke, but they just got them in time. I think three goblins is probably their limit before the wall breaks down. I'm pretty sure Victoria could take on three on her own. But we've finally got our last piece of grass so we can upgrade our altar. Well, look at that thing now. Now our population can go up to six, which means I'm going to attract a wildling straight away. As soon as we click that, a new naked person's sprinting towards our little town. It kind of sounds like a horror movie, actually. Now we build our next house as well. They're all coming from the same direction. What is out this way? Nothing, just the blackness. The darkest night. I don't know why there's so many naked people in that dark area. But anyway, welcome to the tribe, Victor. I just realized we can actually upgrade the lumber mill and the mine. And we should have the ingredients to do that stuff straight away. So that means that we can put two people in each of these buildings now. So Victor, you come back here, you drop those sticks and you start collecting some wood. What are all these little poops doing down here as well? I guess I'll pick them up. Oh, what'd you do to that deer? It was just sliding across the ground. Maybe these woods are haunted after all. I've just realized we can get a farm now. And we've got so much room out here, we may as well plop one down. Oh, I can actually upgrade the walls as well. So if we just give that four stone, we've turned our flimsy little wooden walls into a big stone fortress now. Well, actually, it looks like you could still kind of just jump over that wall if you wanted to. But apparently the goblins don't know how to do that. Why are you over here on your own, Noah? Oh no, he's going to get smacked. Oh, that was perfect, actually. You abandon your post over here on the left side. For the time being, I'm just going to make one of our archers into a carpenter. So that means you should collect some resources for the buildings we're trying to build. I'm going to collect as much of this food as I can so that we can try and get another villager. Ah, there we go. Perfect. We needed eight food for the next one. And I'm just thinking it'd be really useful to have a big storage tower out here as well. So that's what we're going to build. And we may as well plop in some trees while we're going here. Actually, this would be a really good place for a farm right next to that little water source. This little farm down here needs some poop, some wooden planks. And the last thing it needs is sticks. And now we just need someone to put in it. And luckily for us, we've got a brand fresh naked guy. Welcome to the town. Oh, it's Noah, number two. All right, Noah, you get on this farm right now and you make us... What is this farm even for? It's a wheat farm. All right, Noah, you make us some wheat. And there's still so much food over here to collect. Does wheat count as food? No. Oh, it's its own resource. Okay, we're going to do something else to wheat to make it useful. Actually, it looks like we need this windmill. Workers will fetch wheat and produce flour. Well, that still doesn't sound like the end of the road because we can't just eat flour, surely. Now, I wonder if we can extend our walls out even more. We're really running out of room over here. Actually, I could build it all the way out here. Yeah, let's do that. And there we go. We've got a wall. I want to see if I can upgrade that too. We need four stone. Look at this big stone wall. All right, now I'm feeling much safer. Oh, we've only got one archer though. All right, Harrison, you get on there. You do some archery on those goblins and I'll zap these ones. Oh, it keeps breaking our wall every time we zap them though. Victoria, come and help us. There you go. No, don't be scared. Don't just let them hit you. Wait, maybe she wants to stand behind this second wall. Victoria, no. Okay, we'll drop him. Oh, they got in. Oh no, they took out both of our archers. Can I resurrect? 
We got one. Oh, Noah. Noah the first. What happened to you? You're a skeleton. Before we can use our resurrect again, we've got to wait for the cooldown. Are you going to despawn if I leave you on the ground? Oh, no. Let's leave him by the altar and just hope that he stays. Oh, my gosh. I just turned him into food. How did that happen? Oh, Noah, you've been sacrificed. Let's attract a replacement straight away. Actually, we've got no hunters right now. John, you get back over here. You be an archer. Catherine's over here mining this gigantic rock, which looks like it's got infinite stone, actually. And we just needed one more wood. And now we've got a stonemason. Where's that naked guy? Here he is. Oh, it's Noah. He came back to us. Reincarnated. This time he's going to be a stonemason for a little bit. Oh, yeah. So two rocks and you get these stone bricks, which has just unlocked another new recipe. Ah, that's the last thing we needed for the circle of bread. We've got an inn. Do we have enough room for an inn? We do. Let's put that in so it's all right next to each other. I think I might also build another archery tower just here as well. Okay, we didn't have time to actually put anyone in it, but we've got so many more goblins. I think there's five on each side now, which is really deadly. We're going to need to employ some more archers for sure. Uh-oh, they've reached our town center. We'll heal everyone while they're fighting. John, you're nearly dead. Okay, John, you get out of here. Oh my gosh. All right, John, you just let everyone else do the fighting, even though you're the one with the weapon. Just waiting for my ability to cool down. And there we go. Now you're back to full health. Okay, we're out of food again. That is a problem. We need to get some of this bread going, maybe. All right, there's our windmill. And Noah, our farmer, is collecting all of the poop to grow wheat with. Oh, Catherine is starving. Look at all this meat over here. Catherine, you're starving on top of a pile of dead deers. Oh, it looks like we're going to get five goblins from each side. That is worrying. We can actually upgrade our archery tower as well. So I'm going to do that. Okay, we'll leave these two to arch over here. We'll go sort this other group out. We fried their brains so they can't move anymore. Oh no, they've broken through our stone wall though. So far, so good. Archers did a great job. We do have one more skill point as well, but I don't think we can actually spend it on anything. That's pretty much the limit for your upgrades in the demo. But we really need to see if we can make these dum-dums self-sufficient. I think to do that, we're going to have to really try and max out our archers on both sides of our town. We've got nine food, so we can attract another wildling. Ah, who's here? Watch those arrows. It's running through a hail of arrows past these deers that are being hunted. It's all right, little buddy. I'll escort you in. He looks amazed. All right, there we go. Felix, you can just be an archer over on this far side. Okay, last thing we needed for the inn. So it looks like now we just need water and flour, and we should be able to build bread. Oh, yeah, so he's just collecting all of the wheat. And look at that. Straight away, he's turned it into a little packet of flour. You should be able to turn one water and one flour, it looks like, into bread. Look at that loaf. How much is one loaf of bread worth? Three food. That looks like a lot of goblins. Let me just do a little zap there to help out. I think these guys are going to be under control on this far side. Oh, Noah's in trouble for sure. Oh, Noah, get out of there. Quick, someone who's actually strong. All we need is a tank, and then the archers are way more effective. Now, as far as buildings we haven't got yet, there's still one here, the forge, which we need to build. This is a way for us to get metal, which I have no idea what that would be used for. All right, getting really low on food again. Noah, get in there and get these deers. Oh my gosh, the shots are terrible. You're level three and you're still missing that much. All right, actually, we're really good on wood now. So I'm going to make one of these guys from the lumber mill into a windmill person. What's a person called that works in a windmill? A flower maker. Let's go with that. So now we've got two archers on either side. Maybe I'll zap the ones on this side for a change. Okay, let's bring one back. It's Felix. I feel like every time I pick someone up, it's Felix. Oh my gosh, Noah. Oh no, they got Noah. Okay, let's resurrect him. Oh, they got someone else as well. Who is this? It's John. John, you stand over there. How did those goblins break through that wall? Okay, John, I'm going to hang on to you until our resurrect ability is cooled down. This could be some time, but we can't risk what happened last time. Let's just rest John down here. Hopefully his body stays. All right, that should be enough food now, though, that we can get another wildling. Very good. I've just realized every time we level up, we extend the borders a little bit. There doesn't seem to be too much out here. It's kind of like no man's land. The naked realm is what we're going to call this black space now. It's where all these naked people come from. Well, let's just use one more gatherer for a little while. Charlie is their name. We're going to need another one of these storage towers out here as well. There's just too much for me to collect and make it go back and forth. Ah, it's much easier to collect everything. Actually, we've got over 20 food again. Let's just get another wildling in here. Then that will be our eighth wildling. Oh, I forgot about John. Oh my gosh, let's resurrect him. Uh, okay, John just turned into Abigail. I don't know how that works. 
We can increase our houses. We've got to do that. All the goblins are here. All of the archers are just in the middle of nowhere. And there's a naked man. Uh-oh, this looks bad. We're going to have to do some juggling. Okay, let's do a heal. The most injured ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, we survived that. I don't know why that got so hard all of a sudden. DD did a really good job over here. But we need to upgrade this house before we can get this naked guy into our settlement. We just need one more of that wheat grass. Ah, perfect. Here we go. That should be all of it. So now we can have up to 10 villages and already we can attract another wildling. So I'm going to do that straight away. The next challenge is for us to upgrade these archery towers on either side. Oh, here's our other naked man. Okay, you be a gatherer. That's what we really need. Make sure we're full on archers as well. Come over here, Ulysses. You go with Victor and you defend this wall, okay? All right, those guys did a great job. The other two also doing a pretty great job, I've got to say. Oh, never mind. There's way more goblins than I thought there were. Victor, you go on the other side and you confuse them. Oh, and don't get smacked too hard, please. Perfect strategies. If only anyone could hit the goblin with their arrows. Right, you know what? I'm going to just upgrade some of these houses and maybe even build some new ones. Just do a little bit of farming of all of the resources that we need. Oh, it's the nighttime again. We've got one upgraded archer tower, which I really want to test out now. And we've got our population up to 12. Let's see how these guys go. I'm a bit worried about this side, actually. How are they doing? Not as good, but if we just help out by frying them... Oh my gosh, we're getting attacked. Having four archers is a game changer. We just get a little bit of grass going in here. Aha! Now we can get two more archers on this side. But just in time for the next evening, two more naked people that are ready to join, which means two more archers. Because these people are dum-dums, they don't know how to work out even numbers. They keep trying to all stack on one side. So <laughs> I've just got to go around at nighttime and make sure that there's actually four on both sides. Okay, I think if they can handle this attack on their own, then we've set them up for greatness, even though it was a struggle. Here we go. That's a lot of goblins. Oh, they're really handling them. That wall is definitely breaking, but they're handling the job pretty well. Okay, we did good on this side and on this side, also good. Wow, we've really come a long way. But I think there's one final thing we can do to make this really work out. And it all relies on this metal, which has unlocked the last building that we need to build, the barracks. Workers will defend the village. We've got all of our stone and all of our wooden planks. The last thing we need is two more metal. So I guess if you want a job done, you've got to do it yourself, right? Typical of this town. Oh, actually, hold on. Jacob just brought over a stone. I can't believe it. Maybe this town will survive on its own without me here. Although he only brought one, so I guess I'll add the second one. Now that should be the last two metal blocks that we need. It looks like it's got three slots here, so why don't we try and put some people inside? Oh my gosh, Abigail just became a soldier. Or like a militia, I guess. Charlie, you're up next. And then Riley, that's going to be our next one. Because I don't know how to repair this wall, I've just built a new one in front of it. Let's hope that works. If we've got four archers and one of our militia soldiers on every side, I think we should be totally fine, right? Okay, just make sure that we've got four. And on the other side, why are you all standing between the two walls? Bunch of dum-dums. No, 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 no. You stay back here. <laughs> you stay back. Stay back behind the walls. Oh my gosh. I don't think these people will ever be safe. What's the other side doing? Oh my God. Riley just ran out there and got murdered. There's no hope. No hope for them at all. Despite all of this progress we made, there's absolutely no hope for their survival. Unless I'm here holding their hand, of course. But I think it's time to let these dum-dums try and survive on their own. I can't hold their hand forever. But hey, if you guys like Lift Lands, let me know down in the comments. It's a really fun game, and it actually reminds me a lot of the Kingdom series, which is one of my favorites. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.